So, hello world, how do you do? We're back to our basic stuff series, LMAO, laughing my ass off, basically, about all the basic stuff in the world that people are missing because they're missing the obvious. Like I just missed a stick over here. That was fairly obvious if I had paid just a little bit of attention to what's around me and what's happening instead of just focusing on uh, you over there in the camera, all right? So I hear people are asking, did the guy go crazy with the Lady Gaga or what happened? So, uh, if you don't ask, you probably will never figure it out. And if you do ask, uh, you had better be set for figuring it out, because otherwise, nothing. So basically, did the dude go crazy? Got three answers for you for that. While I'm walking around the happy forest place where I like to record all kinds of crazy shit. So basically, one, is the dude crazy? Uh, no, he's not. No, he's not. Uh, he's, if you take crazy to mean someone who is acting impulsively without the sense uh, of the driving force behind the actions and under this way, then uh, probably not. It's a conscious and a contained line of action wherever you go, including through the bushes and the forest. That was one, not crazy. Two, do this crazy, sure as hell. Completely batshit crazy and mad as an old frog on LSD. But uh, that's not a problem either. You can be not crazy and crazy at the same time if you know how to keep the balance. There's no rule saying you have to be stiff like a stick stuck in a mud or something or a brick of concrete. That's not the point. The point is to be fluid, to have a fluid idea of identity uh, of the world, to let it flow, to let it take its own course, to let it find its own emergence and its own expression. Otherwise, who cares about crazy or not crazy? The world is sometimes crazy, and have you checked the news lately? And uh, sometimes it's not crazy. So those are two answers for you. I'm going to check if the camera is still recording here. Seems to be recording. Two answers. Yes, crazy, no crazy, or no crazy, yes, crazy. Then the actual proper answer, how crazy, and in what way is crazy? More crazy than you are or less crazy than you are? Well, basically, about as crazy and about as sane as all of you put together. Because I'm watching everyone from behind my shady shades, analyzing the patterns of every interaction, uh, fa factoring out the vectors, that draw the lines of attraction between people and phenomena. I track the cycles and I observe the overall life cycles of things. So, you know, got a sort of a story arc going on here. And uh, if you don't follow the timeline, if you don't see any patterns, arcs or sequences, then of course everything is going to throw you off and everything is going to seem crazy. But none of it is crazy in the end because everything is a part of a naturally unfolding process. The only problem is that people battle against the process, uh, become like uh, concrete blocks in the river of life, become like damned dams with their stasis that never breaks because it's held together by their desire to be crazy or not crazy. Who cares? If you're black or white or crazy or uncrazy or straight or queer or weird, like I happen to be, I'm just weird, I'm not straight or queer, I'm weird. Totally weird. Because weird means we are here. You are here, I am here, I am you and you are me and we play the Beatles together. That's the point. Whatever you do, I go into that. I look into you. I look into you, look at everything you are doing, analyze all the patterns, the whole picture, then I enter that, I become you, live through your experience. I try to do that with every individual, whether it's Lady Gaga or Freddy Gugu or the Queen of England uh, or some crazy ass uh, guy in jail. They're all the same to me because they all live a life 
from birth to death and go through similar hops of desire and aversion, following each their own lines of attraction. Who is to say this attraction is bad, the attraction is good? The attraction is the attraction, and it all comes from the environment and it returns to the environment. Humans are just vessels via medium in between, like a mirror. Just the problem is that we always tweak that mirror with our warped desires. And the whole thing goes to hell. Everything seems to be crazy or uncrazy, or whatever doesn't seem to be familiar seems to be bad or crazy anyways, just because we have no desire to see into it. We have no desire to see into anything. We have little desire to see into each other. We have little desire to see into ourselves. Most of all, what's inside this fucking bog over here? That's the straight question for the straight people. Have you looked inside? How deep have you looked inside? What's inside of your heart? How deep have you gone inside of your heart? What is the darkness? Where are the desires? What are the composite patterns in your awareness? Those are the kinds of questions that a person with an acute an alert mind would be asking pretty much all day long. Where do all of these conscious patterns emerge from? Why am I being controlled by all of these conscious patterns? Why am I living a life of mental slavery? Subject to my desires, subject to my attachments, to my cravings. What the fuck is this? Uh, you're going to live the rest of your life like that. So what a pathetic little hole. I mean, that's why the world doesn't really make a lot of sense to me the way people present it, because they all take a slant and try, they try to spin it their way, and that's just uh, bullshit, pretty much. Because everyone screws it their own way, and when you have uh, six billion people each trying to screw their own way, then uh, you can just imagine what that results in. So anyway, that's a little bit of ranting for today. We'll conclude here, and maybe next time we'll continue with a bit more of an amicable tone, or maybe not, maybe I'll just get more PC by the day, and you're just going to be listening to a hell of a lot of heavy metal from here onwards, because you don't like Lady Gaga, and you don't like my nice Matrix philosophies that come from the ancient days, and the fucking spaceship, or whatever. Who cares where they come from, see if it makes sense, okay? Whatever makes sense, whatever works, natural and is real, whatever doesn't, go to hell. We don't need that. We just need a thing that works. If it's kids playing, singing songs, that works. Haha, ha. that's about everything you need to think about today, as far as I'm concerned. We'll finish here. Peace out and uh, live long and prosper and uh, heavy metal. Something like that. Illuminati signs. Remember them well. You'll learn a whole lot if you crack them. Thank you.